Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the trade day results for the 10 high-end players that we have up right now on our active auctions page right now. I already wrote down a full list of uh, all the player values on my Excel document so I'm ready to go for this trade day and uh, hopefully we can get some good trade offers and hopefully sell everybody on this trade block. So let's get started and uh, we'll start off with Duncan Keith. All right, so Duncan Keith has five different trade offers. Let's take a quick look. Anse Kopitar and 105k, which is not a bad deal. Uh, you got Johansson, Quick, and Riley. So first of all, Johansson is right now worth just about 60,000 coins. Uh, Jonathan Quick is worth about uh, 95k coins. So you're getting about 150 with Ryan O'Reilly. You're getting about 160k right there. Uh, Zidane Chara, he is worth just about 70,000 coins, give or take. Uh, get, add it on with the coins, 30,000. And Frederick Anderson, you're getting about 112k, which is uh, a little bit worse than the other offers, so I'm going to reject that deal. Uh, but for right now, I'm liking the Anze Kopitar deal. Uh, next up, you got Voracek, Akposo, John Scott, and 10k coins. So Voracek right now is going for about, let me just double check here, uh, 90,000 coins. Akposo is going for about 25k, so you're getting about 115 with the coins. Once again, not good enough compared to the second offer. And for the last one, we got Bacarts and 69 coins. So, Anze Kopitar right now is going for 72.5k. So, that is just about 180,000 coins worth in value. Compared to this one, you're getting about 160, 170k right there as well. But, compared to the other offer, you're getting a solid player. You're getting a solid amount of coins. So, there you go. Enjoy your Duncan Keith, and I will take Anze Kopitar and 105,000 coins. Alright, so now let's move on to Patrick Kane. He's only got 12 minutes left, and uh, we gotta hurry this up. So, first of all, Taylor Hall's worth about 125,000 coins. So, I'm getting about 375,000 right here. However, the current bid is already at 400,000 coins. So, if I'm gonna take any offer, I'm gonna take the coin straight up. So, there's something that we can compare against. Uh, there's also Ryan McDonough, Joe Pavelski. Ryan McDonough right now is going for around 50,000 coins. Uh, Joe Pavelski is going for around 60,000. So, you're getting about 110,000. Added on with 260,000 coins, so definitely still the current bid is better, so I'm going to reject that. Alright, so first of all, Henrik Lundqvist is going for about 170,000 coins. Joe Pavelski is right now going for about 150, so that's about 320,000 coins added on with the 40k. Once again, just not going to beat the current bid. Uh, player of the game, Joe Carter, is worth about 225. Added on with the haul, that's about 350k, we can reject that as well. Jaden Schwartz, we can reject. Uh, there's also Bergeron, Kuznetsov, Akpozo, and 150,000 coins. And of course, Danny, Danny Heatley, the all-star. Uh, Bergeron right now is going for about 60 to 70,000 coins. Let me just double check here. And yeah, he's worth about 80,000 coins. With Kuznetsov, you're getting about 180,000. With the coins, with Akpozo, with Heatley, once again, does not add up to 400k, so I'm going to reject that. Reject some of these uh, troll trades here. Uh, McKinnon, Hosa, Koivu, Felino, uh, definitely not even going to add up to 100k, so I can reject that. Uh, Kuznetsov, Marlow, Kelchenyak, we can reject, not worth too much. And uh, Evgeny Kuznetsov and Vladimir Tarasenko with 40,000 coins and Giordano. Uh, Kuznetsov, once again, worth 100,000 coins. Uh, Tarasenko right now going for 200,000 coins on the dot. So you're getting about 340 with Giordano, and Giordano's worth about 30,000 coins as well. So still under 400,000 compared to the current bid, because I'm just going to take the current bid if, uh, if I don't get a better offer here. So first of all, Justin Williams, not worth too much. And the next offer here, we got Jamie Benn, Phil Kessel, Nicholas Cromwell, and David Krejci. So Jamie Benn right now is going for about 260k. Uh, Phil Kessel is just about 110, 120k, give or take. So that is a pretty good deal compared to all the other offers. I will delay that one. We can reject that deal. Uh, we can reject Spencer as well. And I'm going to guess it's going to be another troll trade. No. So Tavares is worth just about 250k with the coins. McKinnon, Bishop, that's definitely not worth 400,000. So if we're going to really compare these two offers, I do like this deal compared to the current bid, but I will delay it until the end uh, before I take that deal. Next up, Brent Seabrook, 13 trade offers. So I'm not looking for too much. I'm looking for about 20,000 coins. So just whatever is the best offer I'm willing to take. And the first offer, 16,000 coins. Definitely not a bad deal. 12K Kucherov, 17,000 coins. That's a little bit better. Voinov, Chara is going for about 13,000 coins. So definitely not good compared to the other offers. Uh, Alexander Steen, right now, not worth too much as well. So we can delay that. Chris Neal, Milestone once again, uh, probably just around quick sell value, so I'm going to delay that as well. Uh, Tory Krug right now is going for 10,000 coins with the uh, coin total there. That's about 11.5k. 
17k plus a plus two all uh yandel right now going for 10k as well so we can delay that uh as well as Tafoli, kutra palat Philpila, not worth too much and ham Hughes and 10,000. all right so if i'm going to be taking any offer i think i will be taking uh the 17,000 coins and the gold contract is just worth the most out of this whole deal so there you go enjoy brent seabrook i'll take 17,000 coins Next up, we got Gustav Nykis with 26 trade offers. So we got a lot to go through here. Patrick Marlowe and 15,000 coins. There's also 25,000 in Cam Fowler. Uh, we got away green, green All-Stars jersey. Not worth too much, so I can reject that. Uh, keep going here. We got Sean Monaghan and 5,000. A lot of good deals here. Henrik Sedin, Jonathan Druin, 7.5k. That's not bad. Uh, keep delaying. Lamb like Black Cox. Uh, that's a good one. Lad. 16,000 coins. Lad right now is worth just about um, 17,000 coins. So you're getting about 33 with that deal. So that's definitely not bad. And McKinnon right now is actually going for around 40k. So with the Sezikis, that is definitely worth it compared to the Gustav Nyquist. So we will delay that for sure. 1.8k. Brody, Eberly, 20,000. Uh, Oshi, Saad, Bodker, and Johnson. Uh, I still think that the best deal right now is that McKinnon. Uh, 45,000 coins right right down the middle. Not too bad as well. Charlie Coyle, he's not worth too much. He's about 25,000 coins, but compared to the other deal, I still like that one. The McKinnon and the, the team of the week is just a solid deal overall. Uh, let's keep scrolling through here. Uh, Pozo and Barry, that's about 35k. Zuccarello, he's not worth too much. The junior flashback card, he's worth like about 10,000 coins. Uh, next up, we got uh, St. Louis player uh, Shannon Kirk with... The 10,000 coins, that's about 35,000. Sorry, I'm looking at the values too, so uh, I'm trying to speed through as fast as possible because we only have five minutes left. Probably not the best idea to leave this all the way to the end, but uh, Saad, Kuznetsov, and Barry, not worth too much. Uh, Quincy, McNabb, Coburn, Carl, Dupuy, keep going here. Allen, Felino, Saad, Stepan, a whole bunch of 86 guys, but they aren't worth too much. Myers, Drew, and Bodker, as well as Brody, Voinov, Helm, and Goudreau. So yeah, that's definitely not one of the best deals there, but let's quickly take a look at all the rest of the offers. All right, so since we only have five minutes left, uh, I think I'm going to be taking the team of the week and the Nathan McKinnon. Definitely one of the best deals right here. So there you go. Enjoy Gustav Nyquist, and I'll take Nathan McKinnon and Sezikis. So anyways, we're flying through these trade offers. we got five minutes left on TJ Oshie. And Oshie's worth about 20,000 coins. So, Andrew Ladd, first of all, worth not too much. He's worth about uh, 17,000 coins. So, it's a pretty fair deal, not going to lie. A gold contract there. Uh, Troy Brower. Troy Brower right now is going for 8,000 coins. Pretty much quick sell with Callahan, Domi, and Haglin. Don't exactly need those guys. Uh, Brodeen, Ham Hughes, Kruger. Ham Hughes is worth a little bit, but compared to the first deal, still like that one just a little bit better. Uh, next up is Mason and Sod. So, right now, Sod. Is right now going for 12.5k. Mason's going for about 4k. So you're getting about 16k with that deal. Uh, next up, you got Thornton, Stoner, Nozella, Breezebois. Uh, you got Jones, Haglin, Goudreau, Cogliano. I uh, got some troll trades here. Tor Corey, Tory Crew is still worth about 10k. So with Craig Anderson, he's really not worth too much. So there you go. Enjoy TJ Oshi. I'm going to take Andrew Lai. He's definitely worth the most amount of value compared to any other deal on there. So we're going to be moving on to Jonathan Taves. And we're running out of time. Uh, Ryan Suter, Voracek, Bergeron, and Parise. Definitely not worth 500,000 coins, so I can reject that. I know Jonathan Taves is worth at least minimum 500,000. So if we don't get that value, I, I think I won't take the deal at all because his value is worth a lot. Landis Scott, Kane, Wheeler, Ryan, and 17K. Uh, that's not good enough, unfortunately. 470,000 coins, and yep, that's a solid amount of coins, but still... Not sure if I want to take that deal. We'll delay it for now. 100 coins with these uh, gold contracts. We're going to reject that. Uh, Steven Stamkos right now is going for around 475k. So we will delay that as well. Nathan McKinnon, uh, the team of the week version, is right now going for about 150,000 coins. Uh, you're getting about 380 plus Subban. And Subban right now is worth about 140. So you're getting about 520k, which I really like with that deal. So I'm going to delay that. Silverberg, 1,000 coins, we can reject, not worth too much there. Uh, we also got Zetterberg, Medano, and 100k. And honestly, Zetterberg is worth about 100k. Medano may be worth about 160, so you're getting about 360k, give or take. So we can reject that deal as well. Moving on, we got Home Erie Otters jersey. We got Getzlaff, not worth too much. Uh, Matt Duchesne, Ryan O'Reilly, Kari Lentinen, not worth too much as well. 
and I'm really flying through these. So Patrick Waugh, the legend card right now is going for just about, let me double check on my notepad document. Uh, but right now he is going for 225k with Kessler, you're getting about 350. With Giroud, you're getting about 450. With Floresburg, 510. So it's not a bad deal, but a whole bunch of players that I'm going to have to sell. So we got about one minute left on Patrick Kane. So we got two trade offers. Let's quickly check. Vanek and Sutter, as well as Jamie Benn, Phil Kessel, Cronwell, and Krejci. And I think this is going to be the best deal that we can get right now with this deal. So there you go. Enjoy Patrick Kane. And I will take the four Detroit players. So hopefully those guys are worth uh, a lot compared to uh, the deal that we just took for Patrick Kane. But I uh, will move on to Jonathan Taves who has 10 trade offers still and two minutes remaining. I'm absolutely flying through these. All right. So first of all, Nathan McKinnon, he's going for about 160K, uh, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, 150, you're getting about 380, 390 with Subban. That's about 520, 530k, which I really do like uh, because the coin total is pretty solid. As well as Nathan McKinnon and Subban are really uh, easily sellable players. So you know what? I will take that for Jonathan Taves. Enjoy. I honestly think that's the best deal compared to any other deal right there. Anyways, Evgeny Kuznetsov, two minutes left. Oh god, can we get through it? I should have really given myself more time. Spetsa Halak. Uh, Ekman Larson right now is going for just about 50,000 coins. Stole and Brower. I would make a joke about Stoll, but right now, Brower, Stoll, they're pretty much quick sell value and 10,000 coins, so I will delay that for now. Uh, Parise is right now going for 85k, so that's definitely not a bad deal compared to Kuznetsov. 82,000 coins. Ryan and Chara, definitely not worth even 60 or 70,000 coins, so I can reject that. Uh, 88,000 coins, that's definitely better than Parise in my opinion. Okay, so Corey Perry. So Perry's going for about 100,000 coins, so it's a fair offer right there. Uh, Nelson, Callahan, Niederreiter, Kadobin, Vanek, Carlson, Kuznetsov, and uh, Latang. So Carlson right now is going for just about, uh, let me just check here, 35k on Xbox One. So definitely not worth too much. And compared to any other offer, I think I will be going for the 88,000 coins just straight up for Kuznetsov. Or actually, I will go for the Corey Perry. He's going for about 100k. So there you go. Enjoy Evgeny Kuznetsov, and I will take Corey Perry. All right, one minute left for Hedman. Can we get through this? Phil Kessel and 13K. Uh, Hedman right now is going for about 200,000 coins. A little bit less than that, maybe 180,000 coins. So I'll be pretty lenient with taking an offer for him. But Victor Hedman, Re Rene, Kessler, Kuznetsov, and Lupo. Uh, Rene is going for about 60,000 coins. Kessler is going for about 40,000. That's not worth too much. That's like 100,000 coins maybe. Uh, but really, there's not many other better offers here. Seth Jones, Anisimov, Marshawn, and Paul and Chuck. Uh, St. Louis, Jersey, DeLeo, Larson, and that is just about it. So, you know what? I'm not going to take an offer on Victor Hedman just because I honestly don't think we have any better values here. Uh, but, oh god, it is freezing up. Oh no, the game is freezing. What am I going to do about this? And yeah, look at that. The game froze, which also meant that I had to quit all the game. And uh, definitely we did not have enough time to check uh, Backstrom and player of the game markup, which kind of sucks. But still, we got as many trades done as possible. We sold pretty much the majority other than probably player of the game Headman, uh, of course, Backstrom and t uh, player of the game Markov. So anyways, I will make sure next time that we do a trade day, I'll leave like 20 or 30 minutes beforehand uh, to check all the trades. Because even uh, 15 minutes is not enough for those 10 players, which is pretty crazy. I thought I had enough time, but... Uh, we absolutely flew through those 15 minutes. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much it for this trade day results. If you guys did enjoy, leave it a like. And let me know in the next video what players I should put up on my next trade block in the comment section below. And I apologize about not checking those final couple players. But next time, I'll make sure to uh, fix that up for next episode. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bad habit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>